Today we're gonna talk crystals. Crystals can be anything from lead in your pencil, the graphite in your pencil, to the table salt on your table, to a beautiful necklace you wear, to even a stone that you find on the street might have it inside of it. That's called a geode when the crystals are inside. And what they all have in common because they all look very different is they all have a molecular structure of atoms or ions that are arranged in a regular grid pattern. So if they have that regular grid pattern, they are considered a crystal. Now crystals all look very different. They have different densities, how hard they are, how heavy they are, how they look, how clear they are, how not clear they are. Um, those are all different things that chemists have to look at to see and identify different types of crystals. And the cool thing about crystals is when we look at them, they look so beautiful and they have all these different parts of them and they're made up of different things and sometimes they're even made in different ways. Some can be made by pressurized molten carbon um, that quickly cools, that's how diamonds form. Or some can be made where a solution evaporates and that's how purple quartz crystal is made and we call that amethyst. So all different types of crystals can be formed in different ways and they can multiply themselves because of the way the earth works and moves and um, just like this one. Look at how many crystals are on here. And they have so many different forms. When a shape is 3D and it has a top, side, bottom, back, that's a form. When it's flat like this, that's a shape. So today we're gonna talk about how we can take these beautiful crystal forms and try to draw those forms on our paper and make the viewer believe that it's a 3D form. So before we do that, let's crack open a geode and see what happens when we find crystals inside of a rock. And once we're inspired, we're gonna get going with our drawings. Here we go. You see those crystals? Pretty cool. And that's all right inside of that geode. All right, once you have your piece of paper, you can use anything to practice drawing. I like to start with a pencil. I'm gonna use a marker so you can see better, but you're gonna start with one square, and then you're gonna do a square around it. Next, connect each corner to each other. Beautiful, you've got your first crystal done. Next, we're going to draw a diamond shape. And draw another shape, diamond around that. Bubble draw around it. And you're going to connect the corners. And you've got your second crystal. Next, I like to draw two lines going around the side and two at the top and then you connect it, kind of like a tall stop sign and then you're gonna make those tall stop sign lines all the way around and connect all your corners to make your ruby shape. Perfect. For our diamond, we're going to start with a zigzag, connect the top, connect the bottom, make a V to each corner, and then make two lines inside. For the next shape, you're going to create a triangle at the top and a triangle at the bottom, and then a smaller one that goes longer at the top and the bottom. Connect those two, and then connect all your edges. There you go. My final one, I'm going to just make a pretend one. So if you feel like you wanna make up your own, go for it. Start with some straight lines and then add some angles, add some diamond shapes, add some triangle shapes, and then just start connecting all of your lines and see where it takes you. And just by adding straight edges, straight corners, you're going to make it look as if it is some type of crystal rock. All right, once you've practiced all of them, you're going to choose a new piece of paper and I always like to use something darker for my lines. You could start with a pencil 
or use a pen or a marker once you're done with your pencil and just trace over those lines and then I like to use a ruler or a straight edge to make my straight lines and just draw whatever crystal was your favorite to draw with pencil and then go over it with a marker or a pen and then you're going to take some paints and you're going to paint around your crystal. I always start with the edges and I start with a lot of paint and a little water and I kind of go around all the edges because I want those to be the darkest part. In the middle I'm just going to add a lot of water and you're going to see that if you just wet your paper that your what that your colors are going to start to blend a little bit more. So I've got a lot of paint on the edges and then the middle just has a lot of water and what's nice is you can add another color in there to kind of enhance your first color. I always choose colors next to each other on the paint palette. So I have my blue. Another color that would complement blue would be the green or the purple because that's what's next to it. So now I'm going to add a little watered down purple inside because I want to keep the top fairly light. I don't want to get too dark on the top because I want the edges to be the ones that look like they're going back into space. So I'm going to continue to add some layers of dark paint around my edges to make the form look more 3D. When I'm all done and I really like how it looks, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to splatter all around it and create some fun textures around my 3D crystal. What I just did a second ago was I covered my crystal with a scrap paper so that I didn't get too much splatter on my crystal. So that's something you can do. And you can also add some shining lines so it looks like your crystal's shining. If you don't have paints, what you can do is use markers. You still want to choose colors next to each other on the color wheel. Orange and red orange and yellow, blue and green, and then you're gonna choose one color to go color on the inside, and then another color on the outside. So I'm gonna do orange on the center, red around all the edges, and then once you're done coloring everywhere, you're just gonna take either a paintbrush with water or your finger with water and try to blend those markers together. Notice that I didn't color the whole shape. I'm leaving some white because when I add the water, it's naturally gonna blend together and create those light values. And then I can draw some um, shining lines around the edges, kind of like I had done with paint and with both colors use my paintbrush with water to blend those outward so that it looks like my crystal is shining bright away from everything.